Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you are new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So you can go there and I'll explain in detail. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But as we head into the weekend here, definitely some updates need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is some house cleaning, go ahead and get rid of that line down there. Yes, that level pertains, it's just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to make and keep this uh, you know, analysis as clean as possible as far as annotations are concerned. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So one of the newest areas of support going into next week right there at 3430, and that's what I would call the ideal area of support, meaning if you're gonna ask Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best? Ideally, yeah, if the price can stay above 3430, that would be a great sign of power. With that being said, I am not saying that if the price falls below that area, then that implies the entire chart is epically destroyed or anything like that. But yeah, preferably speaking, if the price could stay up above 3430, that would definitely be a step in the right direction. Now, as far as levels of resistance are concerned, or let me take a step back and talk about more so the overarching level. I know I've talked about it before, but wanna you know keep that at the forefront of everybody's mind. And that is that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. So keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line's gonna continue to move itself higher and higher. So assuming you care about the big picture point of view, then as far as measuring the health of the overall price movement, you know, that being defined as the movement, just watch that purple line. And as long as the price continues to stay above there, then the bulls 100% own the chart, the bulls 100% control it. However you can best visualize it, that is what is being represented. Now, as far as areas of resistance are concerned, now that we have more data, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this level of resistance. Talked about it being 3485, and that is essentially right where the price did struggle today. I mean, that red line shirt got above it, then it dropped below it, got above it, dropped below it. So I mean, 3485 uh, you know, has definitely been acting as resistance, but I'm gonna just adjust this level up here as you know, the, the high that I got on several occasions was right there at the round number of $35. And the key thing to note there is whenever levels of re uh, resistance are being adjusted upwards, that's always a good thing from the technical point of view. So 35 cents, that near-term level of resistance, if the price can break up above that, actually, let's go to the daily time frame here so we can keep this relatively easy to see. So after 35, next key level of resistance would be up there at 35.60, and that's from back there in uh, early August, and I think, is that the highest it's been in? Yeah, that's a, that would be the highest it's been in literally months upon months. So it's approaching those highs, and uh, it's got a chance to get there, so next week definitely gonna be very interesting. Let's see what happens with it. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.